all lights are not created equally. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel. I am your host, the average white light educator that your mom said that we have at home. Thanks for watching. Guys, the purpose of today's video is I'm gonna tell you what white lights I have decided to run on my rifles and what white light I run on my handguns and why. And we're gonna have a discussion about it. This is one of the offerings we'll be talking about today. It's a stream light. And we have a surefire over here um, on this gun. We'll be talking about both in a second. Before we get too far into it, guys, I need you to leave a flashlight emoji down in the comments below and let me know what you're running on your rifle and what you're uh, running on your handgun, okay? Let me know what white light you have elected to run and why. Is it price? Is it durability? Why? I wanna know the why. Guys, if you want to support the channel, Patreon. It's five dollars a month to get you access to our Discord server, where we actually educate each other. We talk, you know, we talk trash on each other, and we talk about all of our rifle builds. If you want to get access to the Discord server, consider becoming a member of the Patreon. It's only five dollars a month. Uh, okay, so let's talk about it, guys. So for the longest time, you guys have seen me run this bad, Larry. Okay, this is a TLR One HL uh, from Streamlight, and the reason why I like this thing, or did like it, is because it's super cheap. I think it's 150 bucks. It's the rifle version, okay? So it's made for constant on. Uh, but the reason why I've moved away from it is this thing is freaking heavy, guys. It's about twice the weight, uh, close to twice the weight of a Surefire. It's not as durable, um, and it's not as easy for the activation of on and off. So those are the reasons why I have began moving away from the Streamlight uh, series of lights. Now, one, one note on that. I have had zero issues with their handgun lights. Their handgun lights for me are perfectly fine, but it's once you get into rifle lights, that's where I think the Streamlight uh, kind of gets out of its, you start to get out of its uh, comfort zone a little bit when you're running something like this Streamlight, okay? Um, so, good, but not the best. Let's talk about what is the best and what I've gone to and been shooting uh, a ton the past week and that is this freaking uh, surefire okay so this is the surefire I don't know I think it's the 640 let's see if it says on it it is the scout light surefire scout light but it has an IR mode okay the reason why I like the this light is fluctuates and it can move and it's freaking legit um, also it's either momentary okay so boop boop or constant on and it's with the thumb and it's very durable and I like the way that it can be, uh, you can move, move it around on the uh, rifle wherever you want. You can mount lasers around it and it's not an issue. And you can still get to it and you can still get to your laser. Okay, I guess you guys won't be able to see. Boom. Okay, you can still get to your laser uh, the same way and it's legit. So what I would say for you guys, my recommendation is if you can't afford to still be able to shoot or even eat, if you buy something like this, I guess they, they used to call it the vampire light. But this surefire scout light with the ir option if you can't afford it and you won't be able to eat for a month then don't get it but what i would say the ultimate goal uh, for you is going to be the surefire how do i afford a surefire scout light i don't i couldn't answer that for the longest time but once i did it's freaking awesome it it is half the freaking weight of the previous light i showed you this thing is a tank okay and it's super heavy it worked for all those years I ran this thing for a long, long time, right? As you can see, as the paint is coming off of it, the stream light. But once once you're ready and once you're financially able to grow up and buy um, a Surefire, I would definitely recommend it. You really, it's an, it's incredible the amount of weight savings you get on uh, just running a quality light and a durable light, okay? So that's my thoughts on white light. I am still running the stream light thousand lumen hl whatever they are all my handguns because i found that the surefire offering for the x300 is a little bit overpriced for what you get in perform and performance jump so the performance jump from their handgun light to uh the surefire is not impressive for the x300 in my opinion you guys let me know in the comments uh what your thoughts are on that but for me it made sense to finally upgrade for the rifle to something that's, if we're being honest, it's what we use at work. And I feel like um, having a quality IR capable white light and IR light was freaking awesome. Because so, as some of you guys know, my night vision that I run is Gen 2 Plus White Foss, which means on a really, really dark area, 
I can turn this thing to the IR setting, and then if I have to, I can put some flood in there, uh, you know, by flood, I mean extremely bright IR and put it into those dark areas so I can actually see through my night vision, okay? So, uh, in summary, guys, I recommend you guys upgrade when, when available to the Surefire offering. Again, this is the Scout Light with the momentary or constant on. You can turn it to permanent off or IR, okay? Uh, whatever setting you want, but it's super legit and you can actually, I don't know, use things on the gun <clears throat> as you need to, okay? Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. And until next time, this will be Trench Grenade, your average white light enjoyer, signing out. Cheers.